uh, I appreciate uh, what you wrote and uh, kind of like photographing like a personal space. It's always, uh, or not, I won't say always awkward, or it can be awkward. It is. It's more of a personal thing. So I appreciate kind of like sharing a little bit of a personal space like you are. Um, kind of like scrolling through them again. Uh, I did a few times already. Um, but yeah, before I kind of go through them a little bit more individually. Cool. Yeah, and I really do like that you're using like the, the different times of day. Uh, you mentioned that. I like that you're doing that. And this this perspective is really awesome. I'm kind of like stopping. I meant to kind of go back to the top, but uh, I think it's stuck here. I really love this perspective. This really high up perspective is great. Uh, it reminds me of this work. If I could remember the guy's name, I'll tell you. And if I... Uh, he was someone I graduated with. He actually took a, a small pinhole camera and put film inside of it and put it in the corner of his rooms all throughout his house, and he left them there and recorded. Basically, they did long exposures, photographing himself all day and all night long. So he recorded himself in like all these movements in this very intimate, personal way. Um, if I can remember his name, I'll email it to you, though. But, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, again, so I appreciate the, the personal the aspect of these. Um, in a way, when I kind of like go through like kind of quickly, it's almost like the bed is made, and then it gets like, you know, uh, we're going like through through these. Actually, I'm going to talk about these real quick. Um, and these are great. I love like like looking through like this lace or whatever this is. It just adds like this extra layer of uh, it's like a, a layer of security, a layer of intimacy, a layer of uh, a vulnerability in a way because it's a protective layer, right? It's like blocking this very personal space. It's blocking this blocking uh, this protecting you in a way, but it's also a very thin veil of protection. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. It's interesting. I really, I like that you did that. I think that's a great, great view, great take on it. Um, and I like this, this close up of the candle too. You know, it makes me think of, you know, just a different set, different mood. You know, maybe if you had a bad day, I can see light and candle, just trying to relax and kind of check out from the day a little bit, you know, kind of put my, put myself in your space a bit. And I like here, I love how you did this. I like how you selected just the no regrets. You're really focusing in and like directing me where to look. Um, and putting this here uh, with this lighter, you know, letting this light come through the the window here is really awesome. Ah, I see like the, okay, the shades. So that looks like you, what you photographed maybe through. Okay, I see over here too. Cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's really beautiful how you use the, the shadows and these words and the text is utilized very well. So it makes me think a little bit more intimacy and makes me think of kind of your headspace and what you're reading and it's it's yeah it's nicely done it's revealing without being too revealing kind of what you were talking about maybe being intimate but not too intimate at the same time or not you know something along those lines so yeah and these are interesting all threes or two or two of these are interesting um i can see like kind of like why you showed both of them i say i kind of prefer this one i like because i like the inclusion of your tattoo quite a bit I think it's good color-wise, you know, with contrast, or it plays well with uh, the old ASU pitchfork, uh, and it is a very intimate shot, just kind of, like, I imagine you kind of checking out, or, you know, relaxing, or, you know, listening to whatever on your phone here, um, in a way just to kind of, this is what you do, this is your your personal space, your personal time, uh, and, but I do like your gesture, I like your legs here a little bit more, and I like that your cup's here, and I like those qualities a little bit more, but it still works quite well with this one too. It'd be a tough call to pick one over the other one, but I would say only if I were to include only one, I would have to choose one of them. That would be my advice, but it'd be kind of tough call to say which one. And these are great. I like how close you're getting uh, into into this fabric here, into the sheets. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, it's great. Beautiful light, great textures. Um, depth of field is, is, is pretty good, pretty solid. I don't, you know, maybe I'd like to see everything uh, sharper all the way this stuff uh, sharper as well um, but it still works okay with you know the point of focus being right here it works this is nice also again it's like that other like up above view um, I really like this aspect right here of like your imprint in the bed and imprint of your sheets you know of you being there in your sheets I think that's awesome yeah again like that's I think this is maybe one of my favorite ones yeah and this one doesn't quite do it for me as much. Um, it's okay, but it's kind of like, uh, I appreciate, you know, they had this line going that way uh, and leading you back. Like, they, visually, it's constructed well. Um, 
but it's the other, it's not quite as strong intimately like this one has just a different meaning to it. Um, you know, the other, I would kind of like, as I'm looking through some of these, I would say maybe, uh, like if you were to photograph just like your pillow with like just where your, uh, the imprint of your head was, you know, things like that. Or maybe if you usually have like a, a cup of water or if there's something even slightly more personal without being too personal, you know, these little, little effects. Like if I were to look at my, my night table next to my bed, what would there, what would else, what else would there be? I, I, I also probably a little messier room than you do looking at, uh, looking at these photographs. Um, but yeah, great sense of light. You have good compositions. I like the intimate details more though. And that's what I would encourage you, like, especially like in these kind of spaces, just to push that envelope a little bit more. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. And I love how you did these, these layers here with this fabric. It's awesome. Um, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to email me and I look forward to see what you're doing next time around.